Hey, what's up YouTube? All right, I just picked up a truck bed extender from Harbor Freight for $59 minus 20% off. And I even got a free gift with it. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. Uh, this is the daily vlog for today on the truck bed extender, how I'm gonna rig it up and what it's gonna allow me to do. Because I got to the point where I was tearing up my tailgate and my longer kayak when I was trying to haul both of them at the same time was really giving me issues. So here it is, stay tuned, check it out. All right, here it is, fresh from Harbor Freight. Right here, it is the truck bed extender. It'll go three feet out, and uh, I think it's got a max load of 350 pounds, 52 and three quarter inches long. All right, you see it all? You can, you can pause this, check it out. All right, so if you're wondering, here's the parts that it comes with. All right, from the top, one box, type one each, all right? And then it's got the actual thing that's gonna carry your kayak right here, the cross beam, and then the beam that comes from your trailer hitch. Comes with two of these caps and two attachment uh, Carter pin, pin things and one random orange bag. All right, so if you go on their site, on Harbor Freight site, and you go in the store, sometimes you can catch these things really cheap and they, and they put them uh, on sale quite a bit. And this thing I think is regularly like 119, had it 50% off, made it 59 bucks. Minus, you get a 20% off coupon if you Google it. And then um, you usually even get a free gift because they're always giving away something. And, um, it had pretty good reviews, all my buddies got them, so I'm gonna get it out, I'm gonna throw some uh, reflectors on it, and probably a light. All right, so now I'm gonna put it together, and I'm gonna let you see what it looks like all together, and it's gonna be awesome. All right, so here's what it looks like assembled. All right, too easy to set up. It just goes in the trailer hitch, the receiver, and you put the two Carter keys in there like that, or the pins and Carter keys. Right there, there's another one down there. Too easy. Here's the eyes that you can hook your ratchet straps to or your lock. All right, now that I've got this thing set up, you know, does it have slack in it? It's got a ton of slack in it. Here, let me extend this thing out so you can see a little better. All right. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. All right. I'm trying to get this selfie stick so you can see. All right. Now, look. So it got slack. Yeah, it's got a ton of slack. All right. Even, let's see. It's got a ton of slack but I think I'm gonna put some electrical tape in there or maybe some duct tape, just a light layer and keep it from having so much slack. Or you just run your ratchet strap through these eyes right here from the truck, through the eye, back to the truck and it's not gonna be sloppy anymore once you tighten it down. That's my theory. Now, I also picked up some reflectors, all right? These were like three bucks at Harbor Freight. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one like right here, or right here on this crossbar, maybe two, one over there and one over here. And I think I'm gonna hook me up some lights to sit right here on top. Okay, cause technically, technically, you're supposed to have a light on it at night. But if you wanna be technical, this whole thing isn't actually legal. I guess you could say, because it's obstructing the tag with three inches of metal. I, I don't understand why how Patrol would get you for that. I haven't seen it enforced, but one of my buddies got pulled over and he asked the Highway Patrol about it and he was like, technically I can cite you for that. So here's what it looks like from behind. All he's gotta do is go two feet to the left, you can see it, two feet to the right, you can see it. But you know how the police can be sometimes. Here, I'll show you. Here's what it looks like from behind. You're the police right here, right? And you're cruising. And you can see that it 
takes away from the tag. Now, if he would just go two feet to the left, you can see the tag. Two feet to the right, you can see the tag. Now, I don't understand why that's a big deal, but apparently some people say it is. So the other day I got to Googling because when I was going down the road at night with this long kayak, I was like, this can't be right. That you can just have a red flag at night and it'd be legal. So I was like, I'm gonna start Googling this. And I, what I found out, now you can Google it too and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure on this, that if your kayak sticks four feet out from the back of your kayak or from the back of your truck you have to have a light on it because obviously the cars behind you are looking at your tail lights and not the 13 foot kayak you got sticking out the back of your truck and that light allows them to see the end of your kayak not to mention the tailgate damage i was getting because of my heavy uh, outback kind of rocking a little bit and not necessarily does it rock, but once you put the stuff in the back of your kayak, like I usually put my crate in the back and I put it in nose first, the, the weight kind of sits back on the kayak and on the tailgate. So I figured, well, I'm just going to go ahead and get this, you know, $30 truck bake cinder that's 50% off and just make it right. And I think I have another little trick for the truck bed extender you're going to like. Personally, I'm not worrying about it. You know why? Because this is way more legal than riding down the road at night with no reflectors on your kayak sticking, you know, 10 feet behind your behind your truck, waiting to get rear-ended. I would like to see what the insurance company would say about that one. So I'm gonna take it around back, I think, and I'm gonna put the reflectors on it, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna hook my hammock up to it. All right, so here I am. I got the uh, the yellow kayak loaded up here. Okay. Now this kayak is a 13 foot Hobie Quest, okay? And I've got it all the way to the back, all right? And, let's see if you can see, see the extra length here? On, it dawned on me when I was filming this that you could actually pull the kayak a little further out like that it's not quite all the way to the back let's see Can you see it's not all the way to the back of the the bed and it leaves you a little extra room for storage all right so here's how i got it tied up in the back straight across you could probably run it underneath this the seat right here if you're worried about it and straight over to that piece right there since i got this truck bed extender i'm gonna go ahead and put a ratchet strap from here across to the other side. The next what the next tie down point is really all on you. However you want to get weird with it. I would probably just go from this this eye you know this eye bolt right here straight across to the other eye bolt. But that's all up to you. However you feel like rigging it. Honestly I usually only use one ratchet strap because you know before I had the, the truck bed extender and it worked fine. I mean, just get it tight. These holes are a lot stronger than you think they are. I've even left these things tied down for a couple days and it didn't warp the hole. You know, a lot of people were worried about warping the hole. Well, yeah, if you leave it there for an extended time in the heat or in the cold, it's gonna warp it. But I leave mine hooked up a lot and they haven't warped yet. Maybe like a day or two, you're cool, but I wouldn't leave it too longer than that. All right, so I loaded up the Outback, okay? Loaded up the Outback just to give you a sense of how long the outback is okay so this isn't all the way forward you know I got like a good few inches there okay so now this is all the way forward as you can see on a full-size bed there's not much left on the end a little overkill but I'm not putting all that pressure on my tailgate and this is a heavy kayak I'm trying to save my tailgate in the long run by doing this and it gives me two anchor points and it gives me another place to lock my kayak when I put uh, another lock on it with another cable. Okay, so I can go across here to there and go from here to there. And if I want extra space, I just pull it out a little bit. It gives me a little more space. Now one last thing, okay, if you buy the Harbor Freight one, like I did, the end caps 
that go right here, okay, are really cheap. They don't even fit in there really. They fit, but they'll fall right back out. All right, so one last thing is I am going to put a reflector on it and I'm going to put a pool noodle on it to protect the bottom of the kayak just because I've never had anything under the behind. Never had anything under there before, but I think I'm going to do it just for giggles. Because my kayaks are straight troopers. They get banged around a lot. They get beat up. They're workhorses. But, you know, might as well take care of them if you can. The sheer sand on the bottom of the kayak when you rub it, throw it in the back of the truck is going to grind it anyways. But these kayak holes are pretty thick. A lot thicker than you think they are. Alright, I came up with the end result. I finally decided to put the reflectors right there. It was a hard decision. I almost put them right, right there. On the middle but maybe I'll get some more I'll put the tail lights just above it I haven't got the tail lights yet so I haven't got the tail lights yet but this will work until I go back to Harbor Freight I really wasn't sure how I wanted to hook it up I thought I had some light bulbs but I don't think I got them but this is looking pretty good so far now I can hook my hammock up to this I'm pretty sure and I'm gonna do it on the next video this video is getting too long to um, go ahead and hook the hammock up to it, but basically you just flip this thing around where it's standing straight up out of the trailer hitch straight up and then you can back up to a tree or a sign or wherever and hang your hammock and it's a good place to rack out. So join me on my next video where I hook the hammock up to it and show you exactly how I'm going to go about doing it. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on uh, Yak Motley on Facebook. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Yak Motley and Snapchat and all those other good things and I'll see you next time later.